this is Dave from Plymouth Sparky. This is the how to's, the benefits of. Uh, the Wi Fi extender is uh, N series 300 megabytes per second. Uh, that's okay, it's not the latest AC series, uh, which is 5 gigahertz this is 2.4 gigahertz but it's uh, at 300 megs per second that it'll cover some range and it will uh, certainly allow you to stream your YouTube or iPlayer videos no trouble the thing to remember here is to put this extender in between your router and your and your dead spot you know your spot that you're struggling to get Wi-Fi with don't have it too far away from the router otherwise it you're not going to get the signal somewhere in between Okay, this is the socket where we're going to replace this double socket for our new one. So, before I do that, I just want to use one of these uh, socket testers just to make sure the socket actually works in the first place. We're coming down to the DB. Here we are at this distribution board. Remember to always seek permission before you uh, turn off any electrics and before you turn on any electrics. This is a miniature circuit breaker. You come along, you identify the breaker that you need to turn off. Mine will be this one. I'm gonna isolate this circuit once it's, uh, everyone knows it's safe to go off. I'm gonna lock it off and keep that key with me until it's time to uh, put it back on. Again, seeking permission. Okay, we're at the DB. We've turned off the MCB. Now we're gonna lock off. Okay, so we've safely locked off the circuit. No one's gonna, nobody's gonna turn that circuit on for us again now, until we finished. Indicators told us to power off, but we will be doing further checks. Pulling it forward. We're gonna be double checking that the circuit's dead by using our GS38 approved voltage detector we're going to prove it in a proving unit first to make sure our, our test is working between earth and neutral earth and live neutral and live and the circuit is definitely dead that, starting off with a live now you may not have two wires in yours you might actually only have one wire which is because it's coming off from a spur or because we're on a radio circuit this has got two wires because we're actually coming off ring final circuit. We'll talk about radios and ring finals in another video. These will actually fit in a 25 mil back box because they're actually very slim line, which is which is I quite like. Cause, you know. So anyway, they're quite clearly marked out. I don't know if you can see that where you are, but I've got my. Uh, they've actually color coded the top, which is quite nice as well. That's brown. So our old colors were red, our new colors are brown. For the line conductor, live. Uh, neutral is blue which is the old colors will be black and our earth is our green and yellow which again is still green and yellow so we're going to wire this up in the same fashion just giving them another just tightening them up they got quite good screws just giving them a tug after if you've only got one conductor going into each line, it's probably best to just fold over the end of the conductor so it makes a better uh, connection with the terminal. I'm going to offer it up to the wall, put in our new screws that come with the pack. Okay, it's straight, it's on the wall, looks pretty neat. Get back on. It's back on. Just going to use our simple socket tester to test our sockets. And what this is doing is just a very quick test of polarity. If 
find your router and WPS button on mine is at the top and I'm going to hold it down for five seconds. One, two. That should now unlock the WPS. You can see it's flashing. So here you're seeing the BG network as it's onset. Yeah, that's my network I'm trying to connect to. The BG is not quite connected. Push it once. And it should. There we go, it starts flashing orange and blue. It's looking now to uh, handshake with the WPS on your router. Once it goes solid blue, it's now connected. So here I am again now in my dead area and I can see that uh, my Wi-Fi now, which I call the attic, has got a full five bars, which is fantastic. I hope you find it interesting. If you do find my videos interesting, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little like button.